In this video, I'm going to talk to you about the differences between ZO signed and ZO contracts, because I do think that both of them has place in every business. And in some cases, you will need to know why using ZO contracts versus ZO sign, or maybe just stay with ZO sign. So in this video, I will give you all the information that you need to make an educated decision if to dive into the product or just stay where you are and save the time. I can also tell you that Zoho created a very good tutorial by Archun from Zoho and I'm going to have a link to the video in the description below. Because the tutorial that he created is very good, I have no reason to waste time and create the same thing that he already created. So in this video, I'm just going to concentrate on the differences between the two applications. Point number one will be the templating system. In Zo Sign, you can see that the template is a PDF. I cannot make changes to the content. It's static and it's like a picture. It doesn't matter, by the way, if you upload it to Zo Sign a PDF or a, a, a Word document, both of them will be treated the same. It's like a picture. The only thing that you can do is to select the different fields that you want to have on the document and it's exactly the same like DocuSign and all those other applications. What you can also do with uh, Zoho Sign, you can define who will be the people that are going to sign the document and you can select also when the reminders will kick in for the other parties to sign. On the other side, if you go to your Zoho contracts, whenever you go to a document, you can click on edit and you can see that the template can be edited. And this is because the main difference between ZO sign and ZO contract is the ZO contract is based on ZO writer. And therefore you can make changes to your template without creating the document in a different application, making the changes, uploading to ZO sign. It's a big hassle. Big hassle. So in ZO sign, they change the way that they're working with it, which I think it's a huge change. One more thing that you can do with your contract is adding some clauses. So let's say that you have now some kind of a contract that requires intellectual property addition or maybe some uh, clauses that will protect you or the client. You can click here, insert from library. You will select the different clauses that you want to have. You click on insert and now you have a new document. So this is awesome, the way that they created it, very, very useful. The next point will be the usage, and in the usage, I think it's a night and day compared to ZooSign. With ZooSign, you're sending the document for signature, and the only thing that the other side can do is sign, like any other application. From the other side with Zo contracts, you can send the document to the party to sign, but they can also propose changes to your document and you can start the negotiation with it. Now, probably once a month, we have this one client that don't like our basic agreement and he likes to have changes. Currently, we do not allow different changes unless it's a very, very big client because it's resulting a lawyer that's supposed to get involved and lawyers are sometimes more expensive than the entire deal. So it doesn't make sense. Now with ZO contracts, I will be able to do the negotiation on the document with the client and therefore I can accept or decline some changes and based on that we can go to the signature phase. So for my lawyer, I can just give him a final document that we agreed and he can just say yes or no and the, the, the expenses for the legal fees will be much lower than involving the lawyer with every change. Also, in terms of the amount of work that is invested, with ZooSign, I need to download the document, I need to print it, I need to send it. Lots of hassle. Right now, with Zoho contract, it's all electronic. And one more thing that is beautiful, the system is also keeping track on, of the changes. And you can see also each revision in the negotiation, each cycle, what happened there and what we agreed. And I think it's beautiful. It's very, very good. In terms of complexity, ZO contract is much more complicated than ZO sign by far. ZO sign, 
you just drag and drop and you're good to go with Zoho contracts, managing the clauses, the templates, managing the entire life cycle of the, of the contract is much more difficult. So of course, everybody wants to get the best in class CLM, but from the other side, the question is if you have the time to invest to get all those goodies. Next, we're going to the approval process. In both of the applications, you have an approval process. You can send the document to people to approve, and after they approved it, you can send it to the client for a signature. This is no problem to do it with both applications. Next, we have the integration levels. Zoho Sign is integrated heavily with lots of Zoho applications. Zoho Contracts is relatively new and it's right now integrated only with Zoho CRM. But I assume in the next future, you will see more and more integrations. The more the product will evolve, the more you can use it. The next point is about if to use Zoho Contracts now because it's relatively in a better version or in the beginning of its life cycle. I think that it's okay to use Zoho Contracts because it's based on existing tools such as Zoho Sign, Zoho Writer, and there is no problem to use it. Next, we're talking about tracking the contract obligation. Let's say that you have a contract, the contract is for 100 hours of, of service. Whenever the document is being sent and signed, the document is done and there is nothing you need to do on the document level anymore. With Zoho Contracts, you also have a section that you can mark if the agreement was fulfilled, if there were any problems with the project. F let's say that your client not supposed to share the information with any third party, and it did. You can add it to the document in a section that is a fulfillment of the project, and then you will know exactly not only the life cycle of the contract, also the problems that you had with it, if the agreement was fulfilled and you have the entire life cycle of the contract, not only the signature, but also the post signature, everything in one place. In Zoho Sign, you don't have this ability, but most of the times Zoho Sign will be as part of the other modules, for example, Zoho CRM. And in Zoho CRM, I will have the rest of the life cycle and not only the signature itself. So it's not a feature that you have in Zoho Sign, but I will not miss it because I already use the same cycle, the post delivery in the Zoho CRM section or my Zoho project or one of those applications. Next is the repository. The repository in Zoho Sign will be Zoho Sign and the document will stay there and being shared with the other modules that you are working with. In Zoho Contracts, the idea is that Zoho Contracts will be the engine and it will be shared with the different applications. So I don't really see too much difference between the two applications. Both of them are saving the contracts and also sharing it with other modules. And that's perfectly how it's supposed to be. Next, we have the automation section and what you can do with Zoho Contracts and Zoho Sign. Zoho Sign is an evolved product and you have APIs and integrations. And in my system and my client systems, usually it's a click of a button to send a document. You click on send agreement or NDA or whatever it is. And when you click on it, it grabs the information from the CRM, grabs the information from different modules, pre-fill it, adds the client, add the approvers, shoot it back, sending reminders. When it's signed, it's notifying the salesperson that the document was signed. It's all beautiful. With Zoho Contracts, I couldn't find any automation. So whenever you need to send a document, you need to go to Zoho Contracts, create the, the document from a template, add the clauses, whatever it is. And this is, for me, it's a killer because I'm very cool with adding more functionality and more features. I'm not okay to spend more time because I have no time. And also my team is extremely busy. We cannot afford spending more time on it. If there was a feature in Zoho contracts that is a must 
and without that we cannot survive, probably I would go this route. Currently we have about one document a month that we need to go to a system like Zoho Contracts and we need to do negotiations with the client. But for this one project that we have once a month that requires Zoho Contracts, I don't think that this is a, decision, a good decision for me as a business owner to change my entire process, tell my employees to use a new system, load new documents to Zoho Contracts just for one case. If in your business you have more cases that could use the negotiations or that could use one of those great features that I listed before, probably for you it will be a good fit or maybe an hybrid. Maybe the easy ones will be Zoho Sign using a click of a button and sending the document and some of them, the more complicated ones, will be Zoho Contracts. It's up to you, of course. And the last part that I want to discuss is the report. Zoho contracts coming with insane reports is out of the box. Insane reports. You can know when people are signing, if they're signing, the post delivery. It's a full system. With Zoho sign, you have only the signature phase, if it was signed, if it was sent, and so on. But you don't have too much reporting system. Now, now that you have all this information, you need to have an educated decision if you want to use Zoho Contracts, use Zoho Sign, or maybe use an hybrid of both of them in some cases. If you like this video, thumbs up is always appreciated. If you have any questions or comments, shoot them in the comments below. I will see you in the next session. Mm -hmm.